Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to try and improve how I do drop-offs and I've got a great one here beside me. At the moment I jump it off on this side or drop off on this side so I want to improve that and take it on on this side so the jump is a little bit bigger and I want to use my jumping technique of pushing down and standing up so that I get more air and hopefully start to progress towards landing on the downside of the case pad the benefit of which you'll keep much more speed and you won't have that momentum taken away from you when you land on the flat area here so today you'll probably land here but if I keep at it hopefully eventually I'll land down there initially I rode it as I normally would and then I rode it several more times trying to push down and preload the suspension so that I would get more pop up into the air and therefore land nearer to the end of the case pad. So the GoPro ran out of juice and it's probably because it's so cold today. We're now using the iPhone. So apologies if there's a difference in the quality of footage. Hopefully it's good. This is the other drop off that I want to do. I have never done this one before, so I am a little bit nervous. The reason being, though I know I'm probably capable of dropping off, you can't just drop off this you need to use i suppose like the manual technique where you're pushing down when the front wheel is at this point here and then going back behind the bike so that the front wheel is allowed to clear this this is the issue if i just drop off and, and hit this and it's wet you could slide out so i'm aiming to land with the front wheel down here so i i haven't done that and i'm a little bit nervous the other thing that is uh in my head is there's an immediate right turn after it as well so hopefully it'll go okay on my first attempt i looked down at the route and chickened out i found this drop more difficult as you don't have a straight run in and therefore have less speed coming into it I then decided to focus on looking past the landing and therefore the dreaded route and remembering that I did know how to push down before the takeoff point which would allow the front wheel to clear the route. And for the right turn after, I just needed to use the back brake only if I felt I had too much speed. So I'm really happy with that. Something new and it's a step in the right direction. I need to keep working on it, but I'm very happy. Thank you so much. For subscribing thanks so many for tuning in if you haven't subscribed please subscribe because it does help the channel thanks so much guys take care and hopefully i'll see you in the next video